EV sales have gone crazy in Europe this year. It's actually been an amazing year. They're up 67% in Europe. Here are the 10 best selling electric cars in Europe. And I'm going to let you know whether or not those cars will be on sale in your country this year or next year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans and I'm the Electric Viking and it's amazing to track what EVs are doing in Europe. EV sales in June, the last month that we have sales for, blew amazing records in France, Germany, and Norway. Amazingly, plug-in hybrid sales have increased in Europe by 1% this year. In Germany and France, they're down. In Europe, all across Europe, they're up by 1%. EV sales, though, are up by 67%. 166,000 electric cars have been sold in Europe for 15%, just over 15% market share this year. That's incredible. That's just tipping point. That's literally the tipping point. 15%. Think about this, right? If we see another increase this, this big, because this is just over the first six months of the year, but if we see an increase of this year, it's likely the percentages will continue to rise. We're likely gonna see about 30% by the end of 2023. I would say 50% by the end of 2024. We're very much well and truly on the way to Europe being electrified in full by 2030, as in 95 plus percent, which is really exciting to see. And really good for the health of Europeans. So far this year, over 720,000 electric cars have been sold in Europe. And the top models in May were in first place, the Tesla Model Y with 22,000 deliveries. Second was the Volkswagen ID4 with 8,600. Third place was the MG4. So a Chinese electric car there with 6,535. And in fourth place was the Fiat 500 electric followed by the Skoda Enyaq. Then the Tesla Model 3 was next followed by the Audi Q4 e-tron the Volkswagen ID3, the Volvo XC40 was next, followed by the BMW i4 in 10th place with 4,572, but that was only for one month. What about for the first six months of the year? Well, we don't know exactly what the six months are because that information hasn't quite come to light yet. We do know for the first five months, the Tesla Model Y was in first place. Over the first five months of the year, 105,307 Model Ys were delivered to customers, which is amazing. One thing that's quite amazing as well is the fact that that was more than three times as many of the second best selling electric car, which was the Volkswagen ID4 with 31,481. 31,481 versus 105,307. That's an enormous gap. I'm amazed by those numbers. Tesla Model 3 was next in third place with 29,000 deliveries, followed by the Volkswagen ID3 with around 29,000 as well. In fact, there's only been a total of nine more Model 3s delivered in Europe over the first five months of the year than ID3s. Next was the Audi Q4 e-tron with 26,371, followed by the Fiat 500 electric. That was followed up by the Volvo XC40, then the MG4 with 23,540 deliveries. Amazing considering BYD's Auto 3 has been on sale there all of this year through Europe in quite a number of countries and it's only sold a couple of thousand. MG4 is an amazing sales response from Europe for what is really basically a Chinese car brand. Followed up by the Skoda Enyaq, that was in ninth place with 23,000 deliveries. And then you've got the Dacia Spring with 22,000. Now the Volkswagen Group are doing quite well here. They have uh, really what, five positions in the top 10 sellers in Europe. So that's a really good result. So what are the leading brands? The leading brands in Europe this year. Now this does include plug-in hybrids. So I'm not sure how you wanna look at those numbers, but the leading percentages are Tesla has 12.4% of the market. Plug-in hybrids and electric cars combined. Now, obviously, Tesla only sells EVs. Second place was Volkswagen with 8.3% market share. BMW was in third with 7.9%. Mercedes had 7.7%. Volvo, 6.5%. Audi, 5.3%. And the Peugeot Group, 4.7%. Great result for these brands. Great result for Europe. I'm really excited for this because we really are at a point in human history where we're about to see a massive transformation. 
Last time we saw this was when everyone went from horses to the motor vehicle. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.